Now making drum sounds is all very well and good, but particularly when it comes to doing covers of songs, it's very, very hard for people to tell what song you're doing exactly if you just go People can overcome this by humming bass lines or melodies while beatboxing, and humming while beatboxing is actually incredibly common. Now it may at first appear to be quite impossible, like how do you make noise from your nose while making noise from your mouth at the same time, since it's all air in your lungs. Now you do this by making the sounds without using your lungs. The thing you need to understand when you're humming while beatboxing is that you're humming through your nose, not through your mouth. Instead of going ha or ha ha, you're going hmm, 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 hmm. So just pretend you've had a nice big dinner made for you and just go <clears throat> That's how you're going to be humming. Now that you're humming the right way, <laughs> you need to be able to make the sounds without using your lungs. Now you do this by using the air that's already in your mouth. You do this by using your tongue and your jaw and your cheeks and the other muscles in your face to force the air through your lips. A simple way to demonstrate how you can force air through your mouth without using your lungs is to open your jaw wide whilst keeping your lips together. Like that. Now, if while doing that, you hum, you can force your jaw shut, which forces air through your lips. This is actually how a kick drum and snare drum are made while humming. The hi-hat is done by forcing air through the gap between two of your teeth. Now, when you're humming, you can still do this it would just be a lot quieter. Another thing I found with hi-hats is it's very easy to do them while humming if you just make a tutting sound, like oh, you left the door open again. Now you can do this very easily while humming, and when done in slightly faster beats, it's very, very hard to tell the difference. Another thing you can do is to just hum between your sounds. For example, if you do a kick drum and hum straight afterwards, then you can still have the full power of the sound. And again, this can be very, very effective. These are just a few of the methods that I use. You really would be amazed at how many sounds you can do while humming. I hope this has helped. Next week I'm going to be teaching you a simple click as well as a couple of song covers. Peace out.